In order to rotate your camera in Blender, simply press and hold the middle mouse button in the 3D view and then drag to turn your camera. If you want to zoom in Blender, you can simply scroll up on the mouse wheel to zoom in and scroll down on the mouse wheel to zoom out. Let's jump into camera view by pressing 0 on your numpad. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you've started using Blender, which by the way is an awesome free 3D program, but all of the tutorials out there talk about using a middle mouse button or a mouse wheel or a numpad and maybe you don't have any of those things. Don't stress, in this quick video I will show you how you can work around all of those issues so you still get to do all of the cool stuff that all of the mouse equipped and numpad loaded people out there get to do. But now to keep this nice and short, let's jump right into it. Maybe you're using Blender with a magic mouse or you don't have a mouse at all. Maybe you're on a laptop with nothing but a trackpad. So simply come up into the main menu and under edit, go into preferences. In the preferences dialog on the left hand side, come into input. And in here under the mouse section, you'll find an option to emulate a three button mouse. If you hover your cursor, you'll see this little tip here saying emulate middle mouse button with alt and left mouse. This will be optional left mouse if you're on a Mac. So let's enable that. Let's close the preferences and now you can hold down Alt or Option on the Mac and left click into the 3D view to rotate your camera around or you can click into the timeline to scroll around or perform any other action that you would otherwise have to press that middle mouse button for. If you're using a magic mouse or no mouse at all, you will also be missing a mouse wheel. The mouse wheel is super useful in Blender for zooming in and out of your 3D view or different panels, but it also allows you to add additional loop cuts while in edit mode, add detail to bevels, adjust the area of effect for proportional editing and much, much more. Unfortunately, you can't just emulate a mouse wheel, but you can use slightly different shortcuts. First off, do make sure that that option to emulate a three button mouse is enabled in your Blender preferences. Then hold down Control or Command if you're on a Mac Hold Alt or Option on a Mac, left click and drag up to zoom in or down to zoom out. Personally, I find it easier just to use the gizmos over on the right hand side of the 3D view with that plus icon to click and drag, hand to click and pan around and the gizmo at the top just to rotate. It's just a little bit easier. But the option to use Control, Alt and left click or Command, Option and left click on a Mac is super useful because it allows you to zoom in and out of other panels as well. To add additional loop cuts, you can simply use the page up and page down keys. And this also works to decrease or increase the area of effect for proportional editing. To add additional segments to bevel, start creating that bevel and then press S to lock in the size of the bevel. And then you can move your mouse to the right to add more segments or to the left to reduce them. Or you can place the bevel first, then pop open the bevel options in the bottom left hand side of the 3D view and in here you've got access to all of the options for that particular bevel so you can add more segments, you can change the shape or anything about it that you want. There's workarounds for all of the things that you can do with the mouse wheel and I'll add more notes down in the video description. And if there's something you can't figure out just drop me a comment down below. If you're on a custom keyboard or again on a laptop you may not have access to a numpad. The numpad is super useful for quickly switching between different camera views or going in and out of local view. Fortunately, this again is very easy to solve. Once again, come up into the main menu, edit and preferences. And again, in the input tab on the left hand side, under the keyboard section, you'll find an option to emulate numpad. If you enable this option, your standard number keys one to zero will work exactly the same way as they would on a numpad. Unfortunately, there is no forward slash, so no way to quickly go in and out of local view, but you can always find that at the top of the 3D view, under view, local view, toggle local view. And of course, you can always come into edit preferences and in the key map tab, you can remap all and any function in Blender to any keyboard shortcut that you like. And that is all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more. All and any useful links you will find in the video description and please leave any comments, questions or suggestions down below. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.